Interesting truck, 1968 Chevrolet C10, regular cab long box, a custom. Now, the cool part about this is back in 1968 to commemorate Chevrolet's 50 years of building the pickup, which obviously was started in 1918. They had a little promotion in 68, the golden anniversary truck sale. And it was dubbed specially equipped pickup and Chevy vans are being offered at special savings with special packages. And they had this anniversary gold and off-white color combination. Now, the paint code for that was 551. This is a 551 paint code truck. You can tell by, I guess, the data sheet that would be on the inside of the glove box door. And that VIN would obviously match the VIN plate that is in the driver's door jam and does have the correct rivets holding that on. Now, if you want to check out the still pictures, so you can kind of follow along or look at what I talk about afterwards, the still pictures can be seen at uniqueclassiccars.com. Down below this video in the description, there's a link. Click on it. It's going to take you right there. And, of course, you can call us to 507-386-1726. Now, I believe you could get a gold and white truck in 68, but you want to have the 551 paint coat because that was specially for this off-white and gold truck where you see the gold down below, or excuse me, the off-white down below, gold in the center, white on the top. All right, let's take a look and I'll kind of go around it so you can get a little eyeball on it throughout this video. Paint's very presentable on it. As you can see, the front bumper obviously it has had a repaint. That is looking good. And again, the headlight, headlight surrounds, the grill, the bright work on the front. Nice shape. You're going to find a little bit of wear here and there, such as that. Maybe a little bit right there. But overall, paint on this, very presentable. Be a nice truck to show in your local events, cruise in, roll ins. We just wanted to have fun to drive and take a look up and down the side of it. You can see how straight it is. Um, not a bunch of bubbling above the wheel wells, major dings, dents, scratches, anything like that. Interior has had the bench seat recovered, and we'll get around to that here in a little bit when we get to the other side. But see, it's a nice reflection coming off of that. Obviously, is a later model Chevrolet wheel that's on it. What it came with wheel covers back in '68. It does have a bed liner, or I should say bed mat, that's put in it. And the bed is not all beat up, considering how many of these were probably work trucks and really abused. This one appears to be in nice shape. Came out of Blair, Nebraska. If you look through the still pictures, you'll be able to see the original invoice that was typed up at the dealer when this truck was purchased. Now remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. We can assist with the transportation, and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. See dual exhaust back here, receiver hitch, underneath the hood. 307 Chevrolet V8, and that would have been a stock engine in this vehicle that is paired with a turbo 400 automatic transmission. Now, not confirming that it is numbers matching, but what I can tell you from the suffix code, it's a Flint built engine, June 22nd, and a 68 era correct engine that i can tell you not confirming it is numbers matching all right take a look up and down this driver's side also very straight you don't see bubbling behind any of the wheel wells coming back through the front it does not look like it's a thick truck nice and straight again reflection from the paint nice shape not full of dings nicks or scratches all right, by the way, the 551 paint code, which would have been on the 50th anniversary of trucks, was a one-year option only in 68. Door panel, and you can see underneath the door panels too, look good in the pictures. You'll see what I'm talking about in the still pictures. Here is your VIN tag with the correct rivets. It does match that information sheet, data sheet inside the Glove box door. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start this up. It does have a manual choke here. We're not gonna use it. We are inside. This is gonna start right up. All right, 
Miles read 86,967. Cannot confirm or deny that that's original Miles. Since the Miles do not stay with the title of the truck once it gets to be sold, what I can tell you is battery gauge works. Temperature, I'm assuming, is going to come up with the temperature of the engine. Oil pressure gauge works, and it appears gas gauge is also working. I'm going to turn this radio on because I know that works. We're going to let her warm up here a second. Wipers do work, both speeds. Heater fan works, and the heater core is hooked up. Hoses are there. We'll take a look at that one and open. Okay. There's your AM and GM radio. Delco working great. Now, I don't have the antenna pulled all the way up, and I am indoors. That's pulling in an AM station pretty easily. So the radio does work. Now, I believe you would have had an off-white and gold seat in this also, so I'm assuming it has been recovered. With the houndstooth, looks great as far as combination. I bet it is probably next to impossible to get that original fabric. This is what it came with. So that's what the seat has on it now. Otherwise, crack gold, everything looking good inside that cab. So the door closes nicely. The truck sounds good too. 307 underneath the hood, good sounding truck. I do believe I mentioned it is equipped with power steering and power brakes. Listen to that. Very nice. All right, uh, give me a second. I'm going to pop this hood. I want to show you the engine bay. Looking pretty original underneath there also. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. Now you can see the equipment. Like I said, power steering, power brakes, 307 V8. The 307s would have came on this truck, stock from Chevrolet, and they would have came with a two-barrel. Two As you can see, there's a two-barrel carburetor on there yet. Sounded good, smooth runner. So if you're looking for a truck that appears to be quite original, pretty cool truck. Again, can't confirm that it is numbers matching, but we can confirm it was a Flint Michigan built engine on June 22nd. The suffix code tells us it was error correct, 1968 307. Paired up with that automatic. 551 paint code truck, give us a call. 507 386 1726. Unique classic cars.com. Down below this video in the description, there's a link. Click on it, it's going to take you right there. Remember, give us a call to 507 386 1726. We do consider trades. Financing is available. This truck may be eligible for an extended service contract. Look forward to hearing from you on this one.